This is the main design from set six of the fabric effect baubles. Now, this demonstration is using this combination of designs, but you could use any of the design sets doing it this way. Um, I'm going to take you through uh, how I'm going to make a card. And as again, come back to me, it's chaotic crafting. It's something that's in my head. First, you're seeing me putting it together the first time. Cut everything out ready. Let's see if it works, shall we? But if, even if it doesn't work, I'm sure there'll be a happy accident. So that's the main design this set's made on. And I've cut out some of the bits. I've taken one of the small toppers here, which I'm using. I've also cut out some of the smaller toppers with no background and I'm using uh, various insert background papers. Now the first thing I've done is I've taken a piece of gold card. Now I've cut this out, I've folded it in half like so. I'm actually going to use the gold as the inside of the card. So it's going to give you, a, using bits of acetate as well, you'll see anyway, I'll just do it twittering on there you go i'm just creasing that really well so it's nicely stuck down so i've pre-prepared i've taken some of the background paper here and i've used this as a template to cut a hole first of all i cut the rectangle from some background paper so it fits exactly over the top and then i've cut the aperture out and when you cut these out, save them because you could, like I've done here, just folded it in half, little hole there, and you've got yourself a nice gift tag or whatever. So keep your bits that you cut out. So the first thing I'm going to do is put the top on to the front of the card. And I'm just going to add a little bit of glue to here. And because it's a great glue that allows you wiggle time, I'm not too worried about when I first place it down. So there's the front. So we'll check it. it's got it going the right way. That's the top. So that needs to go over that way. Sorry, there's the top. And that fits onto there. And as I say, you have got some wiggle room to move it around a little bit so you can get it exactly where you want it and I think that's about right for me so that's stuck down on the front you can see there like that now I'm going to put an aperture here but I'm going to use some acetate before I put the other cover on so I'm going to stick down this piece of acetate that I've got here now you could use parchment as well if you wanted to something that's going to let, probably might let the light through because you can put the candles in these the battery operated ones and it would really look good so that's going to go on there first just let it looks a bit ugly doesn't it but we're not going to worry because i've cut out another one here that will go on the inside so that's cut off and a little bit of glue on this. So that's going to stick down now and cover the acetate. Like so. Like that so you've got your card got the acetate you've got the gold on the inside it's got a bit of mess so now we're going to add a topper to the inside of the card and that's going to so when you close the card that's going to marry up and will be like that so I just need to turn it round so I can get this exactly in the right position before I glue it I'm trying to push from the front and of course it's not going to happen because it's acetate there isn't it so I think that's pretty good enough there so if you open this gently without moving it hold it down going it's here when you need three sets of hands I'm just going to lift one side up 
apply a little bit of glue. Who's thinking this on the hoof? Me? No. I told you it's a little bit of chaotic crafting. And if you turn it round, hold it in position so it doesn't slip and just glue that down at the top. So that should be in position now. Let's hope it's not moved. If you do it quickly, then you can, you've got time to move it around a little bit. Oh, just a little bit there. I think that's better. Keep checking it a little bit more. A little bit more. Don't know why that's showing so much. Oh. And there you can see the card. You've got a nice card. You know, at any stage you could stop and that would be a nice card. But you know me, I've always got to go one bit further. So what I've done is I've cut out a, a topper to match. And that's going to stick on there. And then that's a, the next one's going to stick over the top. So you can marry those up. This is slightly bigger, but I'm going to stick it so it covers it like that. So a little bit of glue on there. And I like this because it looks like it's coming out the frame. So I'm going to do this so it covers like that. That's the top section. So you can open it like that, but when you open it, you get a really ugly inside of it. So that's there, but I've got the mirror image here that I can stick over the top there on the opposite side. So a little bit of glue. Like that. I'm going to put my cap on. Don't want that drying out. And then that just fits over perfectly like so. So you've got various versions of that card now. So I've added some extra layers to that. And you can even go one step further. If you watch demonstration one, I show you how to make these. So you could even stick that on the top at the front. And you've got a lovely 3D mirror card. And then when you open that up, I'm not going to stick this down you've got a nice gold surround. So when you stand that up like that, you can put one of these candles in between. So it stands like that and it reflects off the gold and lights so you can see through it should send shadows shuddering through the hemisphere. He's off. Nurse, he's due his tablets. 